girls, welcome back to my channel. Um, for those of you that haven't watched my previous first YouTube video, my name's Mia and I'm just going to be sharing with you some of my beauty secrets, beauty tips um, and just makeup ideas and looks. Um, I really, really hope you like my channel um, and please subscribe, give me a thumbs up. <laughs> um, for those of you that like this look, it's a bit of a like a sexy, senorita, sun-kissed sort of look. Um, it will be in the video coming up, so I hope you enjoy. Um, and if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Um, also, if there's anything that out, I just hit my foot. If there's anything that you guys want me to show you or um, a, per a preferred look that you want to see, just let me know. Um, thank you for watching. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so let's start that again. But yeah, anyway, enough of the chit chat today. I'm just going to get get to it. Um, I'll just be talking along. Um, I'm not too sure about my hair look today. Once the makeup makeup's on, I think it will look a lot better. I'm feeling a little bit like the Senorita vibes. I just my hair's a little bit, you know, not been washed, so it's just. Chuck it up. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to get to it anyway. Um, also, I have got individual lashes on. No, sorry, they're the Russian lashes. Um, individuals, whatever you want to call them. But I've got uh, lash extensions on at the moment. But a lot of them have fallen out. Um, I had them done for holiday and they were really, really, really lovely. I, I got them done by Blinking Smooth in Wickford. For those of you asking. Um, I can see these hoops are going to really annoy me. These might have to come out. Um, skin's not the best at the moment, it's really, 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 really broken out. I think it's where I've literally just come back off holiday and been a lot of partying, a lot of booze, um, and a lot of crap food as well. Because <laughs> you know when you're on holiday you're not eating, like, don't get me wrong, we did go to restaurants and stuff, but it was just not what I'd be eating at home if mum was cooking or if I was going for dinner with my boyfriend, that kind of thing, do you know what I mean, so. Okay, maybe not, that's broken, probably. I hope I'm still in focus, because, you know. Um, yeah, so I literally just took makeup off with my trustworthy micellar water from Garnier and Simple Baby Wipes. Um, and then just to quickly moisturise, I'm using, as always, the Dual Action or Free Moisturiser from Clean and Clear. I love this stuff. Okay, goodbye. Maybe not today then. They didn't want to stay in. Oh dear. Okay, so eyebrows... First, as always, I'm using the Max Donna Eyebrow Pencil in shade number two. I'm just going to brush my eyebrows up first with a spoolie brush. Literally, when I got back off holiday, I was like, shit, I am dead. <laughs> I was so tired. Um, and then I'm just going to go in with the Real Techniques, um, what's it called? Angle brush. And I'm literally just using um, a palette that I used in my last video just to colour in my brows. Okay, and then I'm going in with Studio Finish Concealer in shade NW20 um, just to colour that underneath with my little flat brush. Um, I always do this step. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of concealer on my lid. Yep, so literally just blended all of that out. Powder on my eyelid. Make sure everything's set.
and it was when you start creasing you're like bitch why am I creasing okay I'm gonna prime my skin quickly with I've never actually tried this before just bought it um it's the Revo revolution pro base uh priming based it's like fiver from Superdrug. It smells so good. Okay, so I'm going in with my loved favourite product at the moment, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. Um, I'm just going to apply a little bit of that on the back of my hand. Well, quite a lot, actually. <laughs> right, and I'm literally just going to dot over the face. And you're going to just see how amazing this is. I just appreciate that glow right now. It's just, oh God. sorry, but I think it's wonderful. I'm using the Pro Longwear Concealer in NC25. Pump a little bit of that on the back of my hand and just carve out the top brow. And then I'm just going to blend that out with that fluffy sort of brush that I used earlier. Oh, I want to be back on holiday. Um, I'm hopefully booking something up with my boyfriend at the end of this month and I literally can't wait. I just want to get away again. I am also going... Ibiza. Um... July for my cousin's Hindu where I am maid of honour and I can't wait. It's going to be fab. Really, really, really looking forward to it. Okay, so with skin, I'm going to be using today the MAC Mineralize Foundation. I was using this every day on holiday. I literally picked it up at the airport. I'm just going to be using that with a big fluffy brush and this is from Primark. I love this brush. It's great. Okay, so I'm just going to literally buff that in the skin. Ooh, hey. You've got to be really careful sometimes because this really does come out a lot. White shirt, not a good idea, I mean. But it really does give them... Um, like, I can't exp oh, Okay, earrings don't want to stay on today. I'm just going to leave those here for a minute. It's quite messy, I'm not going to lie. But it really does give, like, a full coverage look. And it bronzes you up at the same time. Which, I obviously love. Um, I haven't actually seen like a lot of MUAs use this, which I'm quite shocked about because it's so good. Okay, let's try again with my earrings. Okay, I'm then actually going in with Backstage um, Foundation Brush. I love this brush, it's really, really, really good. I'm just going to blend out here a little bit. Even though it's a, pound, a powder, it can clog up a little bit, so you've got to be, you know, careful and make sure everything has still blended out. Yeah, it's right, I'm then going to go in with MAC Prep and Prime Concealer in Light Boost. It's kind of like a highlight of stick pen, that kind of thing. Um, and I'm just going under the eye with that. Love this stuff. 
on the bridge of the nose, cupid's bow, the chin area a little bit. I'm also then going to be going in, of course, with the eraser stick. Please look how much there's a running out badly. Chin area down here. On top, underneath. Like there. And I'm going to blend all of that out with, yeah, the backstage foundation brush. Okay, I'm going to set that with just a fluffy brush. Um, I'm not putting a lot of powder on. I'm kind of just setting it quickly just with a palette powder. Fluff in my, my lid. But I'm going to set under the eyes with my Morphe white powder that I love, which is... This one, that's a luxury powder, and I'm setting that with my Real Techniques setting brush, and then onto eyes. Okay, so for eyes, I'm literally just using really simple, simple, simple tones, and they are these ones from this palette is actually from Amazon, and it is in number two E15. I'm literally just going to be using the red, the sort of bronzy sort of colours, mainly those four here. Um, and I'm literally just going to really just play around with them. I'm not going to go too crazy with the eyes because this is literally what I was doing every day on holiday. going back in with that blending brush I'm sorry not blending brush setting brush um and just wiping away that excess Okay, and then I'm going to be going in with Max Factors Full Slash Epic Mascara. And I'm literally just going to be putting a little bit on my eyelashes. I really shouldn't really because I've got individuals on. But, oh, Russians, whatever you want to call them. But they're not, um... A lot of them have fallen out anyway. But I'm like, undecided, like, indecisive, undecisive indecisive as if I want to put falsies on top or not. Um, I'll show you the ones that I was going to apply over the top, but I don't know if I actually need to. I wasn't putting false lashes on on holiday, I was literally, this was the look I was going for every day, every night. Again, just that ready sort of brownie colour. Cute. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of mascara on underneath. Guys, so I want to know if you want any like drugstore haul products, um, a festival look, that kind of thing. Um, let me know. Um, it's obviously prom and wedding season two. So I am thinking of doing a prom look for definite. Okay, so I'm going to wait for all that to dry and then I'm going to get rid of all the mascara on the top of my lid. Okay, I'm just going to bronze the face, contour slightly. Um, I am going in with Real Techniques. They haven't made, yes they have, contour brush. Um, and I'm just going in with a bronzy sort of shade um, and MAC Give Me Sun. I'm just kind of going to contour here, cheekbone area. Whoa, girl, you can't talk too much this side. 
actually going to blend that out with a Real Techniques Duo Fiber Face Brush. I'm just going to blend that out like this. Um, I'm going to go in with all around here down at the nose Okay, and then we're going in with a MAC stippling brush. It is in number 187, I believe. Um, and I'm just going in with like a corally sort of pink. Just to give a little bit of, a little bit of a cheek, a little bit of a cheekbone. on the forehead slightly because it's where we catch the sun. I was not needing to do it on the forehead at all on holiday because I was rather burnt. Um, okay, I'm going in with highlight, literally one of my favourite highlighting powders ever. It is the Shimmer Brick Compact from Bobbi Brown and it is in the shade Bronze. Love this stuff. I've always loved it. As you can see, it's like the top bit's nearly gone. Okay, I'm just going to highlight as usual. In the bridge of the nose. This stuff is so good. Oh, it's just so nice. Like, it's not too much. It's it's just a very subtle highlight. It's really, really nice. And I put it a little bit in the brow bone as well. Down the chin. Cute. I'm also gonna add a little pop of highlight as well from the Highlight Lime Crime Palette in shade Gold, which I believe is this one, yep. Just gonna pop a little bit of that on the cheekbone just to give it a little extra pop. Okay, I'm gonna set with my brows with Brow Drama by Maybelline in Transparent. Always set the brow. And now for a lippy, lippy, lippy. I was kind of indecisive whether I should go for um, a red lip to go more of like a senorita vibe or just the nudie chocolate brown that I was in the holiday. So I think I'm going to go with the nudie chocolate brown. What shade is this? I don't know, I'm so sorry. But I'm actually using a Primark lip liner and I actually swear by these. They're, they are insane. Whoever has used them will, will actually agree with me. They are so good and they're really long lasting. I mean, you can, obviously you've got to keep chopping them up and that kind of stuff, but the colors are insane. So I'm just gonna use this to line my lips. And it's kind of that chocolatey, like brownie nude color. It's really nice. And they're about two pounds. Love this colour. Looks a little bit dark now. Um, okay, I'm then going to go in with Mocha by MAC. It is Satin Mocha. For those of you that will want to know. I'm then going to go in with Kiko lip gloss and I believe these have discontinued now Kiko discontinued loads of things and it's so annoying because they're so cheap and some of their products are really really nice um, but it's literally just a nude lip gloss I'm sure they still do the same colour but not in the same 
like format if that makes sense. I'm just gonna hit a little of that on. Just in the centre. And girls, there you have your finished look. I'm just gonna set with Max Fix Plus. <laughs> Max Fix Plus, as you can see, look, I told you I was really running out. Right. I hope you've really enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. Bye! This stuff is the bomb. I love it.